you. It's me, Super Casey. And I was just looking through this cookbook right here because I was thinking it would be so nice to help my grandma make dinner. My grandma, she does everything for anybody and everybody. I mean, she's always cooking. She's always folding laundry. She's always like ready to make someone laugh or play a game. So I thought I would be helpful and I would make her dinner. But I don't know what I should make. Do you have any ideas? Oh, tacos? She loves tacos. Spaghetti? What? That's one of her favorites. Hey, I think I'm going to make her spaghetti. Should we make a list? What do we need? Noodles? Oh, for sure. Noodles are awesome. Spaghetti sauce? Yeah, we need that too. How about bread and salad? Okay, I am gonna run to the store and get everything so I can start making her dinner and be helpful for my grandma. I'll see you in a little bit. Bye. Hey, what's up Southwest kids? I am Miss Riley and I'm here to do the verse with you guys. So why don't you guys stand up on your feet and make sure you have lots of room and let's go over the verse. So our verse for the month is Deuteronomy 31, six. I'm gonna go be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, for the Lord your God goes with you. Deuteronomy 31, six. Good job. Okay, are you ready? I want you guys to do it with me as well as you can, and I wanna hear your voices too. Are you guys ready? Deuteronomy 31, six. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, for the Lord your God goes with you. Deuteronomy 31, six. Good job, are you ready? We're gonna do it one more time. Deuteronomy 31, six. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, for the Lord your God goes with you. Deuteronomy 31, six. Good job, if you have a neighbor, give them a high five. If you don't, give yourself a pat on the back and we can take a seat and let's see what happens next.
Miss Casey and Ollie, and we're here to tell you a story about a ginormous guy named Goliath. He was so tall, people called him a giant. Whoa! Can you say, whoa? Good job! Well, this story today comes from the Bible. And Goliath was this big, tall guy. And everyone was afraid of him. And he used to think he wanted to fight everybody. He thought he was so rough and so tough that he was always looking around to see who would fight him. He would sing these songs, na 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 come fight me. But he was so big and so scary, people would literally run away from him because they were afraid that he would squish them because he was so big. Then there's this one guy. Do you happen to know his name? We talked about him last week, and it sounds like d, 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 yes, David, you're a great listener. Well, David, he was a shepherd boy, and he loved to watch after sheep. If one would get out of the flock, he would go get it, and he would bring it back, and he would say, it's okay, little sheep, I'm going to take care of you. And David loved to sing songs and worship Jesus. Well, he heard that there was this big, ginormous giant that wanted to fight. And do you know what David did? <laughs> no, he didn't run and hide. He went and he said, I'll fight Goliath. Oh my goodness. He was so brave but he knew that God was with him. So I want you to check out this story and let's see what happens to Goliath and what happens to David. Check it out. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Just tighten this one here and that one there. Oh, hola, friends! I'm Luis, the handyman. I'm just finishing up a really big job for my friend Nigel. I can't believe we actually got it done. This was very hard to get working again. <laughs> Say, that reminds me of today's story. Do you want to help me build it? Oh, <laughs> great! Let's put on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders! Ready! Uno, dos, tres! Hammer! Great job, little helpers! You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible starts with a big Mean <gasps> giant! Oh, everyone say, Whoa! <gasps> Whoa! His name was Goliath, and he was not nice at all. Do you know who Goliath wanted to do mean things to? God's people, the Israelites. Every day, Goliath would tease the Israelites. <laughs> na, 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 na. Who's gonna challenge me? But the Israelites were too scared. No one was brave enough to challenge the giant. That is until a boy named David came to bring food to his older brothers. He was there when the giant came out to tease them again. Well, and David thought surely one of the Israelite soldiers would challenge Goliath. But they were all afraid of him. <gasps> Show me your scared face. <gasps> yes, they were so scared. So David said, I'll do it. Everyone was so surprised. 
David was not a soldier. How could he challenge the giant? But David knew that God would help him be strong and courageous. So he decided to challenge the giant, Goliath. They tried to put armor on him. Uh, uh oh, <laughs> I think it's too heavy. It's okay that the armor didn't fit. David knew God would protect him and help him. He knew God made him to do big things. David took a slingshot and five smooth stones and went to challenge the giant. Na, 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 na. Who's gonna challenge me? Me, David said bravely. Goliath said, <laughs> you, you're just a kid. So David took out his slingshot and said, Goliath, you may have all your big weapons, but God is with me. Then he put one stone in the slingshot. <gasps> okay, everyone, hold up your pretend slingshot like this, right? Now, twirl it in the air like this. Whoosh. Put your pretend slingshots down now. Great. David used his slingshot, and the rock hit Goliath and knocked him down. Everyone say, Timber! Ready? Timber! <laughs> Way to go, David. You saved God's people from the mean giant. God made David to do a very big thing. God made you to do big things too. <laughs> hey, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who made you to do big things? God made me to do big things. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made you to do big things? God made me to do big things. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. Wow, God made do David to do really big things and he defeated Goliath. Do you know that God made you and me to do really big things too? I love that God is always with us and he helps us to do awesome things. So now we can say, God, thanks for being with me, and let's go do some really big things together. Can you tell your moms and dads that? Awesome. All right, guys, thanks for coming by the clubhouse. See you next week.